Hi, Dr. Patrice Carter here. Welcome back to Superb Woman TV. And today I came by to talk with you briefly about the spirit of reconciliation. And the spirit of reconciliation is so important and it's something that I experienced one-on-one uh, -on -one this week and I want to share it with you because I know that you're going to be blessed in your relationships if you take these five bullet points that I'm going to share in this short video and implement them ASAP. God is going to bless you. Father, go before us now. Bless this conversation. Bless this video. And let yourself be glorified in our lives and through our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So Matthew 5, 23, 24 says, Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. And so quick testimony this week um, had uh, on, on my mind some things that my husband and I were going through and wishing that I could talk to a particular girlfriend because she and her husband have already been through these things um, in their life in this season but I realized I can't call her because we're not speaking well we weren't prior to this video and so the Holy Spirit dealt with me about the fact that I needed to go be reconciled to my sister and my brother and so that's where the scripture came from as, as I studied it and he said now share this with you guys so that you can now go and be a tool of reconciliation and allow the spirit of reconciliation to flow in your lives so i'm going to give you five bullet points five things you need to do right now to begin to allow the spirit of reconciliation to move in your life the first is who sift your spirit go through your mind and your heart and think about everyone who um, you need to go be reconciled to people you aren't speaking to people who aren't speaking to you um, where these conversations or relationships have kind of faded to black and kind of left and hanging out there in your life and make a list Second what the Bible calls us in Luke to submit and to ask for their forgiveness because he tells us here Leave your gift and go your way. So we have to submit by laying down what we want And then go and do what God wants and then come back and know that he will hear us and he will bless us when and where go hand in hand as soon as possible as led by the Spirit of God and I say that because Proverbs 16 and 1 says that the plans of a man's heart belong to him but the answer of the tongue is of the Lord so God will tell you when and how and where to go and what to do and what to say so don't try to plan out your conversation just be um, open in the spirit and ready to receive and ready to give and do what God has said to do at that particular moment in time when it presents itself how Ask God, God, how do I do this? So I went and I waited two weeks. Please don't wait two weeks. <laughs> we don't know what tomorrow holds. And as I got there, I was a ner I was afraid. I was nervous. I, I was thinking to myself, which is why it took me two weeks. What if she rejects me? What if they they don't open the door? But I had decided that day, I made up in my heart and mind a purpose that I was going to do this. I was going to bring reconciliation because I love my brother and my sister. And if they weren't there, I was going to leave a card or something. But anyway, she opened the door and she did receive me. But before I got out the car, God said, my spirit goes before you. So I'm saying to you, know that God's spirit goes before you and he is already preparing the way. He's just waiting for you. So again, this is Dr. Patrice Carter with Superb Woman TV. I stopped by today to share with you about how you too can experience the power and the spirit of reconciliation in your life. And I pray to hear back from you regarding your testimonies of how you took this word and you went out and you did these things and how God has just moved mightily in your life. Thanks again for watching and God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.